Hi everyone, Ventra Tech is in touch. My name is Vitaly and today I am going to show you how to receive items using a Ventra mobile application. So let's do it! So here next to me we have an incoming shipment. Luckily we have a label on it, so we know the internal reference. Also you can find a, usually you can find a paper inside your incoming shipment with a barcode that helps you to open this order on the mobile scanner. So first of all, let's open the app warehouse operation. And in the needed warehouse in San Francisco, we need to open a receipt zone to find these incoming shipments. We also can scan any item inside this order to immediately find it and immediately find all the orders where the same item is presented. So, but for this demo, I am going to open it and find manually. So let's click on the search, insert the number 57, okay, 57. And here we just found this order. So, but as I said, you can scan it from the list of all warehouses, for example. So let's scan any item inside, like the statuette of good. Okay. And we immediately find this transfer and immediately ready to receive all these items inside. So if we click back, you can see all the details on this screen about the supplier, about the internal reference weight and so on. So in, under the to-do tab, you can find all the lines and quantities you need to receive. And under the done tab, you can find what you already processed. But I think in this case, we're not in process yet, yep. So let's start the transfer. So clicking on start transfer and scan the first item I have as this one. One and two, we have two. It's nice root statue. So one, two, two out of two. So as you might see, we have all the information from where we are taking these items, it's vendor's location and destination location on the shelf two. We need to put it in the shelf two where we already have a same item, I believe. So what is the interesting thing here? You can click on the image of the product to see it's like a um, bigger size. So on here you can quickly compare what you're receiving and what you have in the system. Also, you have a quick info button. Clicking on it, you can find where this item is also placed in different locations. Like in shelf two, we have uh, one of these item as we expected to have. So all we need to do right now, just click back and put these two items into the shelf two location. We can confirm it. We also can change the shelf location. For example, it should be going to the shelf two, but it's not enough space here, so let's exchange location right now. So I'm scanning the shelf one and exchange the original location shelf two to the shelf one and put these two items in shelf one. So a little bit of improvisation here. So let's click on apply quantity and we are ready to scan the next item. So these two, two items were moved to the shelf one. Let's quickly check this. Let's click back. Let's go to the Dent tab. And here we can see that two units of this um, started root were moved to shelf one instead of shelf two, as you see originally. So let's click back. Uh, okay, I close this order. Let's open it once again. So anytime you can move back to have some rest and then move back to the order and pick it again. So continue transfer and we are ready to scan the next item. Now next item. It's a blue cup. Okay. So now no items found. First of all, let's check if this product is really should be inside this order. So we can quickly review it here, blue cup. So we definitely should receive this. So let's click back and compare with our list of items blue cup so it definitely should be here so um, i have assumption that this product is present in, into the system but the barcode of this product is not presented here so it's miss, missed so it's a common situation what we can do uh, first of all we can choose this product manually blue cup and click on the info button here we can get additional information about this product Let's click on the additional info here. And here we have a lot of fields related to this product. So in one of them is a barcode. So, and it's 
indeed it's empty. So let's scan it right now. Fill in, click save, moving back. And now we are ready to apply the quantity of this item and move it to the input zone. Or let's check it once again. So I'm clicking back. Then I'm clicking continue transfer and scan it once more time. Now the product is can be recognized. So as you might see, so right during the reception process, we are ready to uh, quickly go to the info menu and update the information about this product to uh, make possible to receive this in the future without filling this information on order site and so on. So it's really useful feature to update some fields right on the reception or picking process. So um, I am not going to put it into the different location. So I want to put it into the input zone. So I'm click click apply button here and move it to the input zone. Let's say here. OK. So next item here. So we have looks like a chair, but I see nice black notepad. So let, let's receive them. So I have, let's calculate it, two and two and two and one, seven. I have seven here. So I can scan it seven times or I just can get the information about this product and insert it seven on my physical keyboard here. I'm using a zebra with a physical keyboard, so way easy to use the application um, and immediately insert the needed number. So, but let's do next case. I wanted to split this item. So I want to put three of them uh, uh, into the shelf two and four of them, the four left, into the shelf one. So what we, can we do here? So first of all, I am inserting not seven, but three. One, two, three. And put it into the shelf one. So here, by default, the destination location is the input zone, but we are able to change it to the shelf one. Apply quantity. Now seven was where scan. And move to another location. Now, as you might see, four is left out of seven because three already were moved. And we're moving them to the shelf two. It's still destination location in, uh, like an input zone, but we need to change it to the shelf two here and insert it four. Yeah, four. Four here. Click on apply quantity. And this is it. So let's go back just to check that everything is correct. Let's click on the done tab. Here, black notepad. Three units were moved to the shelf one and four units were moved to the shelf two, exactly as we have right here. So we're able to continue the transfer. Everything is looks okay. So clicking on it and ready to scan the probably latest item. So we are ready to receive last items I think. So it's a green tier. Um, in this case, I'm going to put them uh, on one of the palette we have here. So for this, I should activate the palette management. So let's go back, click on settings, swipe down and found the manage packages feature. So let's activate it. So by default, it's deactivated and it's up to you where to activate package management. So let's click on continue transfer and scan these two packages of green tier. Okay, we have all the information here. We're going to put it into the input zone, but additionally, I want to uh, put it into the palette number one. So let's scan it. And the package now should be filled with the palette 001. And we have two of them here. Okay. But the application is asking us to insert the lot number because this green tier is tracking by lot. So I'm clicking on it to create it manually. So we have suggested like lot one, but I am going to create absolutely new one. So like a lot. And maybe 0001, this one. 
Also, I'm going to insert the expiration date here, maybe not the March, but um, April, May, May 18. Okay. Clicking on the OK. Put it into the palette here and click on the apply quantity. Let's click back just to check if everything is okay. So here we have two kilograms of the tier. That's where I moved to the pallet 001. And lot 0001 were created for the two items of this lot, as expected. So we are ready to receive the latest item. It's a MacBook Air 13. But I see no the in the boxes. Maybe we should create a back order. Or maybe we simply forget them on the under the ramp. So let's check it here. Continue transfer. Yeah, I see them. Let's go to them and bring them to the table. Get over here. Okay, finally we have three MacBooks here next to me. We actually forgot them on the next table. So let's scan this. <laughs> scanning the barcode. I assume this product is tracking by serial number and we need to receive three and insert three different serial numbers to track them later. Yeah, indeed, we, need, we have three out of three and we need to scan serial number to create it. So let's scan the first one. So it's unique, it should be inserted here. Yeah, it's here. So next serial number. And the third one. Yoohoo! So three out of three, and all of them are inserted here. So we also can click on the pencil icon to check them. Okay, we can create from scratch right on this menu. Let's click back. So, and maybe let's scan the palette number two to put them all in this palette on this package, let's say. Click on apply quantity, this is it. And the transfer should be validated automatically. So let's click back and find this order that should be under the then status. Then we can swipe to find it in the list or using the manual search, as you remember. So let's click on here and insert it 57 to find it. Yeah. Let's open it. So nothing to do right now because we are receiving all the items in this incoming shipment. And let's check the then tab. So three of black notepad, four black notepad, state of group, two things is here. Okay, blue cup, yeah, in the input zone. So green tier on the palette number one. And one, two, three MacBooks Air that were put it on the palette number two here. So three out of three is there with the unique serial numbers that we just created by scanning them. As easy as that, and this order is received. So now you know how to do it with the Venter app. And this is it for today, guys. Now you know how to receive items and orders using the Venter mobile application. Feel free to go to the comment section and leave your comments there. I will answer all of them. See you soon. Bye.